Hello, GOTC newbies. This is Mistress Yoda coming at you. The topic of this video is going to be range troops and your range. So let's go ahead and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of range troops, okay? The advantages are there is good gear for every situation. Um, and they're strong against infantry. So those are your advantages. They have good gear for all different kinds of situations um, that you can craft in your smithy. And they're strong against infantry. Ranged are weak against cavalry troops. Okay. Um, so strong against infantry, weak against cavalry, good gear. Um but they have a very low defense. Um, if your keep is full of a bunch of ranged troops <laughs> or your SOP is full of a bunch of ranged troops and someone, you know, rushes in there with cavalry attack or even an infantry attack, even though they're strong against infantry, um, you're going to have a lot of wounded troops, okay? Or if you take a ranged attack out and... Um, you know, you're attacking another player, whether they have infantry or cavalry, even though they're strong against infantry, you're going to have more wounded um, range or, you know, if you're attacking, they're going to die. If <laughs> if they're in your keep, they're going to get wounded. Um, they're just generally don't have very good defense. Okay. These are skinny little archers, right? <laughs> so they're, um, they're not very tough when they're directly, um, attacked and so they also are a little slow um and i'm sorry about all my notifications my phone's very popular this evening um so their low speed it makes them not the optimal ones you want to send out to um attack creatures you know they'll slow your march down a little bit so um, that's kind of the long and short of your range as far as their advantages, very good gear, um, strong against infantry, disadvantages, their defense sucks, they're weak against cavalry, and they're a slow marcher. Um, now we'll look into the barracks a little bit, or the, I'm sorry, the range here. We'll hit info, um, we'll hit stats. And, um, you see that, you know, it just adds some building power depending on how high it is. And at this level has a training capacity of 36. You can up that with research gear, those sorts of things. Um, so level 13 unlocks your spearmen. Um, so if you hit train, that's these ladies right here. Um, the very Dornish looking ladies, uh, your spearmen. Um, and let's take a look at this stuff. So let me back up one. Um, on here, um, if you hit in this top right corner on this info, you'll see um, it'll show you, you know, which ones unlock at what level of your range. So you have your slingers, your archers, your longbow archers, crossbowmen, spearmen are the ones that just unlocked it at level 13. Um, and, and those are um, T5 troops, T6 skilled archer, T7 or marksmen. Um, T8s are your champion crossbowmen, T9s archer captains, T10s expert marksmen, and T11 stormcrow archers. Um, and then this power, you know, off to the side that you see is just how much power it adds to your power bar to have it leveled up to that level. Now we'll go inside again. Um, we'll hit train. Let's take a look at a, a single um, range troop. It's going to cost you 87 food um, to train one. Uh, you'll notice that that's higher than to train a T1 troop of infantry. Um, and... You know, as soon as you get to T2 troops, um, you're using 135 food and 16 wood per single troop you train. Um, and you'll see clicking through that when you hit four, stone comes into the equation. And now you're paying 268 food, 27 wood, and three stone for every T4 troop you train. T3 
T5 each one, you're paying 351 food, 35 wood, and 5 stone for every T5 um, archer or a spearman, you know, your range troop that you're training. If you click on info, it shows you that each one of these T5s is worth 6.4 power, has an attack of 27, defense of 20, health of 26, speed of 9, um, you know, very comparable to the speed of your, your infantry troops. If you were attacking an enemy keep, every one spearman that was going into that keep to raid their resources would come home carrying six of food or wood or stone. Um, and then you've got, you know, their upkeep, they, every T5 eats 1.6 food and of course does zero wall damage. The only troops that are going to damage your wall, um, not your wall, but a wall of a keep you're attacking or an SOP that you're trying to take from someone, um, that's not what you want to send to damage walls, okay? Only siege damages walls. Range do no damage to walls, so they're safe if you're, um, farming resources off another keep that you don't want to damage their wall, um, you know, just, uh, range there are good, um, along with, of course, your cavalry and infantry are not going to damage the wall either because only siege will do that. The dismiss button, um, as I mentioned in previous videos, we do not dismiss troops in Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> Your troops this is a war game. Your troops are everything. The dismiss button that you see here is mostly used if you've made a um, an extra keep out there just to farm it with your main keep for resources or something. Um, and you've trained some troops up in there for Tyrion's rewards or because a troop training event was going on and you're trying to train some troops in that troop training event so you could get extra rewards or something. Um, but you're going to come and attack it with your main castle or your main keep, you know, and you don't want to hurt your troops. Um, you can go here in order to dismiss any T5, um, you know, troops, which you probably won't get to a T5 if you're farming resources, but your dismiss button lives there. It's going to be the same on every, every single one. You go to here, you see it's only a two power, eight attack. Um, it only eats 0.32 of your food every hour, um, but I don't have any trains, so I couldn't dismiss them even if I could. So that's kind of a basic rundown. So again, to recap, their advantages, good gear for all situations, strong against infantry, disadvantages, very low defense, low speed makes it hard to, you know, attack creatures, and they're weak against cavalry. So I hope that helped answer some of your questions um, over the basics of range troops and of your range. This is Mistress Yoda signing out. May the force be with you.